Are you creating a clothing brand? Well, if so, I say subscribe to the channel, comment below your questions on starting a clothing brand. Follow along on my journey. I'm going to take y'all step by step and all the checkpoints that I am checking off on creating my clothing brand. There's no wrong. There's no right. Man, it's just strategy. It's just research. It's just taking your time when creating your clothing brand. All right? Y'all stick along for the video. I'm going to show y'all what I have purchased thus far, and I'm going to share with y'all what I am currently doing in order to create my clothing brand. Welcome to my channel. Okay, y'all. So pretty much like I stated before, um, these are some of the checkpoints that I have created for myself when starting my clothing brand. Okay, so I'm going to share with y'all um, the things I have purchased thus far. Um, and I'm also going to break down um, some things and some information that I am currently using when it comes to uh, me starting my clothing brand. So the number one tip that I will give to y'all on starting your clothing brand is do not rush the process. I promise you. Anything that you're trying to start up in your business, even if you're trying to do hair, nails, clothes, have a restaurant, anything, take your time, do the research, strategize it out, um, get all the information that you can before starting whatever business that you want. So take your time. Do not rush the process. This first thing that we're going to unbox here or just take off that a that, uh, couple of the things that I bought for myself when starting the clothing brand is, as y'all see here, damn, uh, they package this good, huh? So, as I was saying, there's several things when it comes to starting your clothing brand, and some people may go the screen print route, some people may just go straight to the manufacturer route. Um, some people, like myself, will design and create their own t-shirts, then go through the process of later on getting a manufacturer to be able to, um, you know, uh, start the clothing brand. But one of the number one things I'm going to share with y'all is you got to make sure you have a name and a label. Now, no disrespect to people out there that may have, you know, money, motion, rich star, all these rich and monies and, and, and all these um, names in their, in their, you know, brand or in their logo. But I advise you to stand out from the rest of the crowd. Remember, there's somebody new every day, like including myself, that is starting to call the brand. So the process of you standing out from everybody else is don't rush the process and take your time. Our process. Now, this is only if you're going to go this route. If you're going to, ha you know, buy you a heat press, buy you some type of equipment to um, start your clothing brand, like I said, or you just want to go the route by purchasing whatever blank samples that you have, draw your idea out maybe on an iPad, notepad, or, pe or pen and paper, and then shoot it off like that. There's no wrong, there's no right, but I'm showing you my exact way, the steps, and the checkpoints that I am taking for myself, okay? Within marketing, like I'm currently doing, so I bought this off of Amazon. Like I said, you place this down on your t-shirt. You can measure out. You can also use a ruler. I also have another ruler over there, but I like this. I'm going to place, um, I'm going to do a screenshot and place all the products in the video. I forgot the name. Y'all going to see the brand and see the price point. I forgot exactly how much I paid. I know this, I, I bought this like a couple of days ago. So I think I paid like, um, I think I paid, I want to say maybe like 20 bucks maybe for it. Uh, maybe 20 bucks, maybe 15. I can't remember necessarily, but that's how much I, I paid for this. Um, the second thing that's in this box is Teflon. Okay, so you need your Teflon. If you're going to be working with any type of like DTF, which is direct, uh, direct to film or any of that nature, you're going to need you some Teflon sheets. So this is what I bought. Um, they probably typically probably ranges from 2 to $3 a sheet. I got three of them, um, I think. Or I, may, I might got six. I don't know, y'all. I can't remember. Oh, I got three. I got three Teflon, and then it came with some tapes, uh, three heat-resisting tapes that you may need to also help you place whatever product, I mean, whatever, you know, that you're using in order to. Now, I just want to make a point. This is really for a heat press. This is not, obviously, you're not going to use Teflon tape if you're doing screen printing. You're going to need you, you know, the materials and chemicals that you need to mix and be able to, um, you know, press that on through a screen and, and probably most likely you need some sort of dryer. So three pieces of Teflon plus the tape included. Um, it says it right here. I got the 16 by 20 um, right now. Um, so that's the big enough sheet. You can get a 15 by 15, 16 by 20, or you can get a 16 by 24 in regards of you buying the size, the correct size that you need for the product that you may be 
um, you know, heat pressing down if you decide to go the heat press route or the simulation pre uh, route to etc cetera, etc cetera. so there you go um this costs 300 i ain't gonna even i remember this one this price right here i'm gonna remember <laughs> um i decided i did some research on when it comes to you because obviously if you're going to be um you know selling your product you're going to have to ship your product out to your customers in some way or form well, we're not going to do the old school by, you know, having a printer and creating paper. And then I'm going to have to tape every single label down on the shipping information to my customer. What I decided to do is go the route. Now, I've done a lot of research on this. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all what this is. OK, you're going to be able to see I'm doing a screenshot of the product and you're going to be able to see it. OK, wireless printing from your iPhone, your pad, your Mac, your Android Chromebook, Windows, um, et cetera. Anything pretty much kind of like when it comes to having a wireless um, activation printing type of service type, this will be able to connect to it. This is wireless, okay? One of the number one things that the selling point for me and all the research that I've done on TikTok, um, Instagram, and uh, YouTube was this is a uh, wireless printer, so it can hook up to you. So you can print from your phone. You can print from your iPad. I just read off the things. It's a very convenient. So you can actually be somewhere outside. Um, you go to the app, and you'll be able to print. So say if you got, like, while you was out and about with your friends, with your girlfriend, with your wife, with your husband, and you got business, well, you can go ahead and print those three labels and get them ready. So then for when you go home, you can just pack up the package, uh, take it off the printer and then go ahead and put your label on um, this the number one thing about this for me also is that it requires no ink now the technology on this is called thermo ink or something somehow it says direct thermo I love it um, and this is a fast printer too this is also a fast printer you can go on TikTok and watch plenty of people uh, show you um, the information on these when it comes to um, how fast it print out um, there's a lady on there. She printed out like a hundred orders and I, I can't tell you the time she, I, she recorded time. I can't remember, but she showed you how fast it printed out a hundred labels and orders, um, for this printer. So like I said, this costs 300. Okay. It says no ink, no toner, no, none of that extra chemicals for all the other ones. And also the number one thing, the reason why I bought this is because you don't have to have this. Like I said, Majority of the label printers, you have to have this directly hooked up to your computer through a cord. You also have to have some type of toner. You also have to make sure that toner and the ink don't dry. And all this, all these other things, you don't need all that. You just hook it up, hook up your phone, download the app um, through whatever your Android, your iPhone, whatever the case may be, and you can print right then and there. You don't even have to print when you. I don't think with, I don't think it came with paper when I ordered this, but I ordered. I ordered paper anyway, so um, I also, the lady on TikTok said you can use any, honestly, any kind of universal paper. You can either use the, the UPS, the FedEx paper, the print label paper uh, for this printer, but I decided to just go ahead and be the south, safe route on one of them type of people. I'm going to go ahead and just stick to this. Uh, this is 500 labels right here. This is my first roll. And then later on down the line, once I make my official UP, uh, UP, USPS or either... FedEx account, then I'll go off that because you can get free um, labels and shipping equipment. Uh, I mean, shipping boxes and yeah, equipment that you may need to ship whatever that you're shipping for your customers on starting your business. Um, and there's also TikTok videos on that. So I advise you, if y'all don't have TikTok, jump on it now. I was one of those late bloomers. I jumped on TikTok late and I should have never did that. All right. Last but not least, I got the big boy here, okay? So straightforward with this, y'all. This is called Better Sub. This is the heat press. Um, I'm going to put it also up in the video, maybe here or here. I'm going to show y'all exactly what it is. We're going to go ahead and unbox this beautiful bad boy here. Um, and also, as I do that, I'm going to go ahead and read off the rest of the information that I'm going to give to y'all in this video. So uh, like I said, I started with name and logo. You need to figure out what niche you're going with. Either you're going to be work, making workout clothes or strictly hoodies, pants, shorts, whatever in that field um, that you're going with the niche, you're going to be working like do workout clothes, streetwear, or 
some type of other vintage wear or whatever that you decide. You need to also do a lot of research on how you're going to strategize in that because ultimately that is your brand identity. Okay. Your brand identity is very important on the decision on making on starting the clothing brand. Also the way you're marketing. Like I said, if you're starting a marketing, if I were you, I'll be doing what I'm doing now. I'm making a video, letting y'all know, showing y'all the steps, which is the checkpoints of the things that I am copying in order for me to have, uh, to in order for me to start my business off. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's other routes, but I'm, I'm going with, I'm going to create some of my own mock-ups first before I just ship it off to a manufacturer. That's mine. But also there's people that do all three. There's people that do heat press. There's people that do screen print. And there's people that use a manufacturer. Um, like, you know, you can make three ways. That's three ways of income. You know what I'm saying? On how, you know, you're going to get certain clothes or certain products out that you may want to do for your brand. Um, that's another way of strategy research on that. So that's all kind of falls down, you know. Um, you don't necessarily need to go out and ex uh, go and um, buy an expensive camera. You can use your phone. Now, I got this at the lowest price. I've seen this before. I've been sitting on it. I've been taking my time in the process of me buying my materials and kind of strategizing. I'm really ahead of the game. I just need to get the things that I need in regards of me buying, um, just buying the things that I need for me to start my clothing brand. I will be making a separate video. I, I do have shirts that I ordered, blank shirts, uh, through a company that I've decided to go with. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and show y'all. Go ahead and show y'all this. Ooh, y'all see that? Yes, sir. It's very beautiful. So well, I'm gonna set this down real quick. All right, y'all. So as y'all see here, I then took out the heat press. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out the plastic. We're not gonna turn it on in this video right now because like I said, I've ordered some shirts and I'm gonna be waiting for them. But this baby right here, this color is, oh, I love this color. This is a beautiful color. I think um, purple is, is, is an extremely, if, you don't, if, you're, if you're a spiritual person, then you'll know purple is a high vibrational color. Just to let y'all know, it's extremely high vibrational. So I also, you know, I kind of went, you know, hey, I feel like it's fashion. I kind of went the, this is purple. This is a purple and white machine. You know what I'm saying? So if you know anything about Rolo, um, if you go to the website and do some research. So their older machines, I don't think has been this color when it comes to the Rolo printer. But when it comes to this beautiful right here, this is called the Better Sub. Straightforward, the size of this, this is a 15 by 15, okay? So I decided to go with this uh, particular press because it's not a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely in the price range of what I was looking for. And there's a lot more cheaper. Now, I just wanted to take it out y'all and show y'all. Just continue to drop some gems. Wanted, to, wanted another thing that I also wanna share with y'all too when it comes to you um, starting your clothing brand. I think one of the number one gems that's not really sh talked about or shared enough is whatever clothing brand you give your money to. So for instance, if you're a fear of God, lover and you buy a lot of fear of God, every release, all their special exclusive collections and all that. And you always purchasing from fear of God. One of the gym things that you should do is also find out what manufacturers they have worked with. You know what I'm saying? If you're going that route, if you're going to be trying to make some of that type of street wear or comfy wear, cozy wear, relaxed material, depending on if it's sweats, jeans, hoodies, shirts, whatever that, uh, you know, fear of God has released over in time. So that's what I recommend. I want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Um, subscribe to the channel, comment below, like the video. I'm going to take y'all step by step by step. Remember there's free, free, free game out there and there's free information and I'm going to like everything. I'm going to take y'all step by step, man. All the checks points is checked off. I got one, two, three, four, five, um, and six. I got six checkpoints taken off. I told you I'm coming out with my, I haven't told you all the name, but I told you I got my logo and all that trademark. I told you how I'm marketing right now. You're watching the video. That's another form of way. I'm taking you on the beginning process. Nobody's showing y'all this. I got my equipment. I'm still got more equipment on the way. There's more things I'm going to add on to me, but I got the main thing, which is the heat press and my Teflon and the tool just to create the product further down the line. This will play a big major part in, and if you find this video very informative, just in starting the basic on starting your color brand, like the video for me, please. Help me get in that algorithm. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your girl, Bama. 
more, more on the way. At right now, I'm ancient and divine energy, but that name will be changing. Until next time, y'all. I'm out. Peace.